If you like to dip and eat smelts, you can thank a program started in the late 1800s that planted them in a Benzie County lake. The smelt eventually escaped and spread throughout the Great Lakes, but something else happened that put Beulah on the map. Before the outbreak, Corey Atkins went to the Benzie County Historical Society and Museum to learn more for this week's Northern Michigan in Focus. It started small, of course, and word spread as these things usually do. It all started right here off the shores of Beulah when smelt were stocked in Crystal Lake during the 1890s. To see if they might become food for the lake trout that were in Crystal Lake. And they were, of course, fabulously successful in reproducing, and no one paid much attention to them. It wasn't until 1919 when a farmer came down to Cold Creek to get a bucket of water for his livestock. And came back and looked, and he had half a bucket of water and half a bu bucket of these silvery little fish. And so he started telling people around town about this strange phenomenon. And so guys were bringing farm wagons from as far away as Thompsonville to fill their farm wagons with the fish for fertilizer. And then eventually, sometime in the early 20s, someone discovered that they were actually pretty good to eat. Word spread fast. And by 1927, it had become a well-known event around the Midwest. Music, bands, uh, meals. Every spring, thousands would show up in Beulah for the smelt. Hotels would sell out. People would sleep in their cars. And the figures I've seen were like 1,300 cars parked on a given evening, 20 tons of smelt taken out of there in a season, you know, ridiculous numbers. The numbers got so ridiculous the local game warden had to put strict times on when people could dip. Because you only had 10 minutes in the creek. At 11 o'clock a gun would go off, the ropes would go down and everyone could get in the creek and then 10 minutes later the gun would go off everyone had to get out of the creek. You got a second shot at the smelt at 4 a.m. when you had 10 more minutes. What are you going to do between 11 and 4? Well, all the bars were open and so you could imagine that by 4 a.m. Uh, they were probably in feeling pretty good. And when you get that many people feeling that way into a small confined space swinging long-handled nets, <laughs> they needed the police presence. It took 17 state troopers to help patrol the madness. The event became known across the country and beyond. Even Michigan's governor at the time, Fred Green, got in on the action. And he liked it so much he came back every year for three or four years after. Eventually, all good things must come to an end. By the late 1940s, the smelt numbers had dwindled and the event went away. There's many theories as to why. But whatever happened, it's still neat to go down to downtown Beulah, stand on the Clark Street Bridge over Cold Creek, and imagine what once was. Oh, I wish I had a time machine to go back and spend the night watching. For Northern Michigan in Focus, I'm Corey Atkins.